Yeah, that's a very good question, actually. Um, some of the examples that I talked about, the way we supported our disaster surge, that was because we were in the cloud. Uh, we are at the SBA OCIO, uh, we call ourselves a forward-leaning leadership team. Uh, we are working at a rapid pace, and we like to challenge the status quo. Um, so case in point, SBA is the first agency to implement CDM in the cloud last year. Uh, the tick modernization pilot that I talked about, it was because we tried to see what were options available to achieve the same or better outcomes what the tick reference architecture was asking for, but without using the tick reference architecture. So using cloud-based tools and looking at all of our IT assets within SBA, regardless if they're sitting on on-prem or in the cloud, or different cloud for that matter, we were able to get a level of situational awareness as well as a security posture that we believe is better than what the TIC reference architecture is, is suggesting. Obviously, uh, since the report has not been published yet, I cannot share a lot of details, but certainly that's one way where we've been able to utilize some of the leading edge technologies coming from the cloud services providers. Last but not the least, all cloud service providers or CSPs, they're continually evolving their services and product offerings and they keep making new changes or adding new services in the marketplace. And quite frankly, it's sometimes difficult to keep up with them. Uh, so one of the things we've done at the SBA is with one of our key CSP, we have set up a regular schedule where we talk about their future roadmap and talk about some areas of interest for us. And so we are having a view six months out, nine months out, 12 months out in terms of what the CSP is looking to provide so that we can adequately plan for it and accommodate in our technology roadmap.